my guests have finally arrived. I will be departing with them shortly. So, I am afraid I will be saying goodbye soon. It was a pleasure. What have we here? You look awfully raggedy. Times are grim. The least you can do is look sharp. Don't you dare meet my lady like that. You might scare her off for good. What business have you? I don't suppose we can help, though. We accompany my lady on her righteous mission. It is quite a chore, but I'm stuck with her. And Nico, too. I can't very well abandon them now. We're to leave momentarily. The catacombs aren't exactly my idea of a good time, but what can one do? I do hope we meet again. Raria Knox. You are undead as well. Then we've no time to fraternise. I have my mission and you no doubt have yours. We must not let this curse overcome us. Did I not explain the urgency of our tasks? Or are you so uncouth as to lack such judgement? By the looks of you, I should think not. Rhea is the youngest daughter of the good house of Thurland. Those young knights are her old schoolmates. But I'm not sure what to make of them. I'm afraid they may be a bad influence. Did you see her? That virtuous little maiden, complete with followers in tow? They're probably going straight to pillage graves. I've heard enough about my lady for a lifetime. What absolute rubbish, eh? <laughs> Did you see them? The three young clerics headed for the catacombs to seek kindling. Kindling is the art of feeding bonfires. The poor young girl sent down into a tomb. What a terrible mission she is burdened with. How did that raggedy old charm end up? You know, the one who idolized some godmother of pyromancy? He left for Blighttown, but never came back. Whereas most flee from sickness, he dives right in. Well, nothing will harm him once he goes hollow. You, yes, you, here, over, over here. Please, you must help me. Oh, there you are. You must help me, or else she'll have me for lunch. You're my only hope. Oh, please. <laughs> Thank you. I would have been a supper without you. Been eaten alive, I shudder to think. Thank you. Thank you dearly. I am Luentius, or the Great Swamp. I will not forget my debt to you. Ah. Go down along the side to reach the depths of the undead berg. Only unkempt crooks and liars to be found there. <laughs> Hardly a place for a lady like myself. But who knows? Maybe you'd fit right in. <laughs> in the lower areas of this town, you'll find all kinds of poison and pestilence. You can't travel a stone's toss without some trusty moss. Make sure you take plenty with you. <laughs> Ah, why, that's a fine ember you have there. I could smith some mighty weapons with one of those. Why not lend it to me? Magnificent! You won't be disappointed. I can hardly wait to get started.
Well, I see you made it out. Yeah, I, I made it out safely too. I have my pyromancy of the Great Swamp, so I can usually manage with a bit of care. Oh yeah, by the way, uh, I can share my spells with you. I think you have a knack for it, all you need are the materials. I'll be pleased to help you. Ah, and unless you find the magics unsavory? Yeah, wonderful. I'm sure that you know, they'll be of some use, some assistance. Here, first take this. A flame from the Great Swamp. Now you're a fully fledged pyromancer. Well, let's get started right now. Pyromancy is the art of casting fire. Produce flame, then channel it, just as our ancestors did. A pyromancer must be in tune with nature herself. My home, the Great Swamp, is an abundant store of nature. You will understand one day, it only takes time. Pyromancy has a, well, rather primitive aspect to it. It messes poorly with advanced culture, and pyromancers are considered rather unsavory, which is fine as I never got along with anybody anyway. So for me, turning undead didn't change a thing. <laughs> My teacher, whom I imagine still resides in the Great Swamp, had a funny way of putting it. He said that pyromancy is the ultimate fantasy. We are born into dark and warmed by fire, but this fire we cannot touch. Those whose fascination with fire persists learn to hold it in their own hand. He rather had a way with words, the old withering frog. In this land, pyromancers earn a certain respect. The Witch of Isolith, one of the legendary lords, is the godmother of pyromancy. So the day I became undead, I was ecstatic. I felt as if I'd been chosen to attune myself to the ancient arts. Of course, it wasn't all that romantic in the end. A pyromancer's flame is, is a part of his own body. The flame develops right along with his skill. When I gave you that flame, I gave you a part of myself. Please take good care of him. Goodbye then. Be safe, friend. Don't you dare go alone. How did that old man make it back? Unexpected. But I suppose stranger things have happened. Uh, oh, you again? Me? Uh, I've become separated from my lady. I've scoured near and far, but no sight of her. Where could she have gone? Milady, to think I swore to protect you with my life. Your Highness, where have you gone? I am entirely to blame for this. Oh, woe is me. I am unworthy, deathly so.
Aye, so I. And a good day to you. I'm Donald of Zena. I'm just a peddler of sorts. I adore trinkets and oddities, so I trade for them. Thank you. That was a fine trade. I have this funny feeling we'll meet again soon. And we'll make another fine trade, of course. Acquaintance with Petrus of Thurmond, I wager you too has likely found much in common. For is he not too drenched in sin? <laughs> ah, you certainly are keeping busy. Care to pay for a useful tip? A wise choice indeed. Maiden Thuraland and her followers recently arrived in this land, but she became stranded deep below the catacombs. Her followers either fled or were reduced to hollows, leaving Maiden Thuraland all alone. Not a bad tip, huh? A new bar cleric would be replete with humanity. Hmm? That tip I gave you? Ah. I heard it from a fleeing old man. That poor bastard. All his robes and trinkets won't help him now. <laughs> Have you spoken with Sir Lautrec? Splendid. In the depths of the catacombs, Milady slipped off the giant's coffin and into a hole. Her two companions are no longer human, and the lass weeps in solitude. Right now, you could do as you please with her. The poor little purebred is entirely helpless. <laughs>
Hmm. A mere undead, yet you can see me. Fascinating. I am Quelana of Isolith. I am not often revealed to walkers of flesh. You have a gift. Are you too one who seeks my pyromancy, like Salomon? Yes, of course. It should be expected. Very well. You shall be my pupil. But to pursue my pyromancy, you must give something up. Are you prepared to do this? Long ago, I accepted another pupil like yourself. Over two hundred years ago, there was a man almost as bungling as you. In your world, he was called Salaman, the master pyromancer. The little rascal really made something of himself. Pyromancy is the art of invoking and manipulating fire. But remember one thing. Always fear the flame, lest you be devoured by it and lose yourself. I would hate to see that happen again. Now go. Whatever you do, do not crack and go hollow, lest my time spent on you be wasted. I'm considering a change of location. I have a rather pressing matter to attend to up above. That keeper has served me well, but enough with her. <laughs>
dear, what have we here? Are you a new servant? Mm. But you have no eggs. Ha, no matter. Go along and have audience with our fair lady. I pray that you will mind your manners. Quaylag, my dear sister. Quaylag, what is it? Quaylag, my dear sister. The eggs, it hurts. They've gone still. I am afraid. It may be too late. I am so sorry, dear sister. Oh, my dear sister, don't mind me. It does not hurt terribly. I'll be fine. I have you, dear sister. But promise me. That you will take care of yourself. Goodbye, Quaylag. It was so very nice to chat. Well, now, you're just like me. Your dedication is fully apparent. Only, well, your head looks awful. Why not try this? I've no use for it any longer. You... you speak the tongue of the fair lady? Well, do not be rash with your pride. You have yet to earn my trust. If you try anything funny with the fair lady, there will be hell to pay. In all honesty, I am envious. What comfort can I offer without speaking her tongue? Below us lies the ruins of the legendary city of Isolith. There, the molten giant watches over the flame of chaos. Our fair lady and Mistress Quelag fled from the ruins. I do not know the details, and I do not ask. Worse than undead, we are diseased and unwanted like the grime of the great swamp. But my dear fair lady, she cried for me and swallowed the great blight pus, despite Mistress Quellag's orders to the contrary. Have you heard of Lost Quellana, an inhuman witch who wanders the poison swamp? Only no one has ever seen her, so who really knows? But what if she is another of the Quelag sisters? Our fair lady would be greatly comforted by her presence. Ah, it has been some time, truth be told. I thought you had perished. The Witch of Isolith, please, do not speak of her. I abandoned my mother and sisters and fled to this land. Now I roam these parts, feigning ablution and pretending to seek answers.
Did you ring the second bell? That is incredible, I must say. But now we have a new problem. It's noisy, it snores, and its breath is lethal. This is no laughing matter, I tell you. Damn, that stench. And I was really beginning to like it here. Maybe it's time I do something about it. Oh, hello there. You've been a stranger these days. Why? What? What's what spectacular pyromancy? Tell me about it. I, I, I have never seen anything like it. Why, yes, of course. Thank you for sharing. I'm still an able pyromancer. I shall locate her myself. I'm in your debt once again. Goodbye, then. Be safe, friend. Don't you dare go alone. Hey, Shemai. I didn't expect to meet anybody here. I suppose great minds think alike, eh? fate is to succeed the great Lord Gwyn, so that you may link the fire, cast away the dark, and undo the curse of the undead. To this end, you must visit Anor Londo and acquire the Lord Vessels. 